standing in my bedroom, naked as the day I was born. She says, let's fuck in the dark, so I need every one of my senses to take you in, and flips the switch, anticipating the darkness. But this was an unexpected sleepover, and I had forgotten to hide the evidence of my fear. She asks me why I still sleep with a nightlight. Answer, it's a free write in a creative writing class prompt. We all begin somewhere. I write, I began in the dark, like everyone else, cradled in the safety of the dark inside the home that grew us. Light ran through us from a heart that breathed life into us. But from the very beginning, the dark fought to take me, make me into a hole it could fill with its emptiness. My mother says, that's why I'm afraid of the dark, because when I was born, I got stuck half in, half out, and I thought I'd killed the only home I'd ever known. She says, what chance has the dark against a mother's literally undying love. Answer, three years old. I wake up in the night with the shadows all around me, filling up every part of me, the places in my heart meant to be filled with butterfly wings, the way grass tickles your toes and lemons crinkle your nose, the feeling of watching your father fill the waiting pool. I knew then that I could fill my pockets with so many rays of sunshine in the days, but seven years old. My older cousin takes me to a quarry and digs deep into the pool of sunshine I keep somewhere I didn't even know I had, and he takes it all. I forget all about chocolate ice cream and hopscotch. My father filling up the waiting pool. I think how thrilling it must be to be a fly on the wall knowing you'll die before you're a seven-year-old girl forced to carry his sickness in her gut like a cancer. Now facing the question, why do you sleep with a nightlight answer? At 16, it was hidden corners, unlit cars, hoping the black would mask the scars. I was helping those men carve into my pool of sunshine. Dark makeup, black lace, turned my face towards the moon and let them touch me in ways I wouldn't dare touch myself for fear. The dark would think I wanted to win. I begin to make deals with him, keep my secrets, and I'll let them in. It's just skin, and if I close my eyes, I can't see them leaving their poison inside the pitch they leave between my thighs that doesn't wash away with sunlight. I've begged a why so many times. But tonight she's asking me. I don't want to chance her leaving, so here's the answer I give her. If you hold on to my hand and remind me that morning will come, I'll stand beside you till my knees buckle. It's not lucky that we're standing here, as I've worked hard to be standing here, despite each night that should have left me down for the count. And it's you're still around, because I'm holding that firefly I'm using as a nightlight, and you're trying to convince me to let it go. And I know I should. I'll take a walk down memory lane and stand there all day telling the sun that I'm ready for her to hold me. And then I'll run until my breath turns to doves, escaping the cage of my lungs to fly like a white flag of surrender straight to the center of that black hole I left behind. Never mind that I can't see in the dark. I'll paint stars onto the insides of my eyelids. And if I have to use a nightlight every once in a while, I'm not losing the fight. I'm just reminding myself that the dark doesn't always win.